Moms for Liberty was founded locally but has gone national with their conservative messages about public schooling, especially LGBTQ plus and race issues. This week it was included in a study on hate and extremist groups by a civil rights organization. Washington's Brevard County Bureau Chief Scott Heidler spoke to both sides about the listing. Moms for Liberty, part of a study of hate and extremist groups by civil rights watchdog Southern Poverty Law Center. And it's quite remarkable because you look at the list and I think the first guy on there is a legitimate Nazi with holding up Nazi flags, giving a high Hitler sign. The group started in Brevard by pushing back against COVID mask and vaccine policies in public schools. We have grown in a little over two, in about two and a half years now, to uh, almost 300 chapters in 45 states. 100 and I think we're approaching 120,000 members. Expanding into promoting banning books and discussions of LGBTQ plus issues in public schools, the conservatives group co-founder on the listing. I reject all of them. We absolutely, we are, our members, our chapter leaders are of all races, they are of all sexes, they are of all sexual preferences. So this narrative that they've been driving, uh, this whole, I guess, radical left ideology. But how Moms for Liberty looks at LBGTQ plus and race issues, the main reasons why they're on the list, but also called anti-government by SPLC. Their tactics um, are hateful, but I think that it's important to look at their over, overarching theme of just being against public education. Jennifer Jenkins beat Tina Deskovich in her 2020 re-election bid for the Brevard County School Board. Their founder has been leaning in by tweeting a statement about promoting violence in front of a school board meeting in California the same exact day that they're labeled a hate group. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, there's certainly moms for something, but it sure isn't liberty. SPLC is also concerned about where Moms for Liberty has been able to take their messages and ideas well beyond its start here in Brevard County. Unfortunately, groups like Moms for Liberty have really leveraged their ties with politicians, with big media names, with extremist groups, so that they're uh, usually the loudest voices in the room. And they'll have quite a big room at the end of the month in Philadelphia, holding a national summit. Former President Trump, Governor DeSantis, and other Republican presidential hopefuls listed as speakers. In Brevard County, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.